At some time, you might be asked to lead a devotional, whether it's in your youth group or in a men's breakfast or a, trap, a chapel service at school or a women's Bible study. And when that happens, what is a devotional? What are they asking you to do and how do you do it? Well, we're here to help. A devotional is just a simple teaching uh, from a Bible passage or a single Bible topic. It's not like a sermon where you have a whole uh, introduction and a number of points and illustrations and applications and all the rest. It's much more simple than that. A devotional is simply a one truth uh, from the Bible that God has taught you that you would like to teach to others. So let me give you some tips on leading a devotional. First of all, keep it short. It could be about seven to 10 minutes. And if it's any longer than that, then you've really started to preach a sermon and that's really not what you've been asked to do. And then the second tip is to share something from your own experience that God has been teaching you. People like to hear what God's been doing in your life. They like it to be personal. And besides, if it's something that God's been teaching you, then it'll be fresh on your mind and it'll come across fresh to your hearers. And then the third thing is focus on just one Bible verse. It's best to keep a devotional focused on just one Bible verse in order to keep things clear and focused and concise. And also the next tip is to uh, focus on just one big idea. Devotionals work best when they share one idea from one Bible verse. This isn't the time to do a whole three point sermon. Keep it short, keep it memorable, and uh, keep it on target, and people will respond to that. And then the next tip is you should try to find some ways to apply what you're teaching to your audience. So whatever that one central idea is, don't just leave it in the abstract, help people take it home and put it to practice in their life. And so if your devotional is about prayer, what God's been teaching you through prayer, then encourage people maybe to pray once a day in the morning for the whole next week. Or if your devotional is about gossip, then you might want to encourage people to memorize a verse in the Bible that deals with gossip. And so find an application for that one a key idea. And then finally, you can close your devotional with a prayer. Ask God to make this truth take shape and come to life in the lives of the people who are hearing you. And so keep it simple, keep it focused on one topic and make it practical and you'll do a great job.